This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store, Forged Irish Stout. Delighted to be joined with Tyler Denny, defending champion, but a bit of an away day against Felix Cash on a matchroom show. Just concluded the press conference. Um, how's things? How, 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 how are we buzzing? Looking forward to this one. I'm buzzing for it, man. I can tell by the smile on my face, and uh, just seems a bit more real when you get the press conference out of the way. And happy to be here, man. Just before we do start, you know, it's never been an easy road for you. It's always been the hard road, and you know, you've we've spoke about it numerous times, and you know, not to go over old ground, but you spoke about sort of how hard the journey's been, and and sort of the difficulties that you've had to see it now uh, on a matchroom show headline, a matchroom show headline in frequent shows, defend the European title, must be special. It's special, man. It's special, and. I think when the fight got made, it was all like, oh, boxer's box is going to pull him out and stuff, but nobody wants to mention that. They, you know what I mean? It's always box has pulled this in, but how about this fight? So we're here, man, and <laughs> belt staying with me as well. Free. One thing that Cash mentioned at the press conference, he was like, you know, who have you fought? You know, who have you fought? Take that a little bit disrespectful for someone like yourself who's, who's, who's boxed all around domestic yeah, level. I mean, I'm not going to take his opinion. You know, I, yeah. <laughs> I thought just because people as his fault, do you know what I mean? So maybe he just thinks he's that above everyone, then that's what he thinks. Oh no, I've had hard fights, do you know what I mean? And I wouldn't I wouldn't disrespect the people that I fought to say that I've not had hard fights. Um, so no, I, 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 I take nothing off that, he's been an idiot. For this fight, do you think activity plays a key? You've been very frequent in the way you've boxed, he hasn't boxed for I mean, of almost 18 months. So do you think that is a pivotal part of this fight, of how it plays out? It's massive. And even the time, even his last performance, or the last two, wasn't the best anyway. And since then, I've just been grinding away and, and uh, improving day by day. And he's, he's going to be for a shock, man. He's going to be for a big shock. I suppose we do have to talk about the press conference there. Um, it was lively anyway. And I didn't think I'd see sort of a, as much a needle and as much sort of back and forth between the two of you, you know you always keep it quite respectful but a little bit irritated or you know, both of you a little bit irritated out there? Yeah, he was just, I don't know man, when he, when he, what irritated me is like, uh, what did he say? A warm-up fight? I thought you cheeky bastard, man, no one's warm-up fight, do you know what I mean? So, so then, you know what I mean? So, I said, um, no one's warm-up fight, it's going to be a retirement fight and and plus, I don't think you like the thing I brought up, the shadow ban thing. Yeah, yeah. Everyone in the room's heard about the shadow ban, whether it's true or not, I don't know. So I asked him, yeah, yeah. and then he was getting a bit of funnier with that. And then he said, I've not even pulled out of these fights, and they started naming all the fights he's pulled out of. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, just sort of spitting a bit of facts, man. The shadow ban, I asked him about it, and not to say, is it, this definitely happened, but if that was me, and my name's getting thrown under the dirt like that, and people saying, you've been doing this, I'd come out, I'd say, you know what I mean, come and interview me, I want to set this straight. So. Do you think he had a shadow ban? I don't know. I hope not, because I think if them shadow bans exist, I think it's bullshit, man. Do you know what I mean? So, as long as it turns up uh, June 22nd, I'm happy. Shadow ban, no shadow ban. You focus on fighting Felix Cash. That's the most important thing for yourself. But when you look at maybe the track record, are you apprehensive going into a fight against a guy who has pulled out of numerous dates that he's supposed to fight? Um, I was. I was. Uh, but then my mind's fully focused on June 22nd, and I, I feel like if he pulls at this, he might as well just pack it in. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm sure Eddie's probably pissed off him a few times already, just pulling out on the fights and that. So you can't keep doing that, can you? you can't keep doing that. But apparently it was only the one he said, and then like he said he named four after that. So God knows. I'll fo fully focus on June 22nd, um, and hopefully it's Felix Cash. I know we did say it's an away day, but it's in Birmingham, and I suppose it's an away day on a show, so almost like the home advantage in a sense, even though it's not your, your promoter. Yeah, it's not going to be an away day in the arena. Um, but the build up and stuff, you know, say losing the person because you have to wait for their date to tell me when I'm fighting, and you've got no inkling. So, apart from that, but in the arena, it's going to be a home day, a home win. I suppose just a final one from myself. Um, talks about sort of retirement up there. Do you plan this is uh, after this fight? This will be Felix Cash's last fight after he fights you? I think so. I mean, he's going to retire by the looks of it. He's, he's half semi retired. I know he's not fought for a year and a half. Do you know what I mean? So, um, because I don't think he respects me, I'm shit. So once I beat him, then for shit guys beat you, what else do you do then? Do you feel, you, do you feel like you were earn his respect? Yeah, he'll have no choice. He'll have no choice. I'm going to keep punching him in the head till I earn it. So. Happy days, man. Happy days. Tyler, as always, great to catch up with you, mate. Top man and all the best on June 22nd, mate.